유진이 키친 Hi, I'm Eugenie. Today I'm making Korean ramen. Some people don't like it because it's too salty or too fatty. But actually, there's a better way to make Korean ramen. And here goes how. The ingredients are Korean ramen, one egg, chopped onion, and sliced spring onion. And I'm going to start by choosing right ramen. What's the best ramen? Here goes the best sellers in 2013 in Korea. 신라면 짜파게티 안성탕면 Best selling products doesn't necessarily have the best taste but somehow I like the best seller the most So today I'm choosing 신라면 which is actually all time best seller not only for last year First in a pan I'm adding in 1.5 cups of water which is not a lot of water actually and half package of ramen soup powder and over medium high heat I will bring it to a boil then add in the instant ramen noodle and cook for 2 minutes stirring lightly then I will strain the noodle and set aside the ramen cooking water is like this when it's cold meaning I just removed a lot of fat from my bowl of ramen. Then I will wipe out the residual oil in the pan with kitchen towel because I will use it again. And in the same pan, I will add one and a quarter cups of drinking water and remaining half package of soup powder, ramen flakes, and two tablespoons of chopped onion. Meanwhile, I will lightly beat one egg. Uh, when the soup starts to boil, I will pour in beaten egg little by little, making a circle. When the egg is cooked, I will add in the noodle and cook until the noodle is done. And then I will transfer to a serving bowl. And I will garnish with sliced green onion. Voila! Here goes my simple yet better ramen bowl. Bon appétit! <laughs> the ramen noodle is flavored and the soup is definitely less fatty and less salty. Overall, this is yes! If you have cravings for ramen once in a while, not every day. Firstly, throw away all the ramen cooking water to remove the bad oil used to preserve the noodles. And secondly, use only half of the soup powder. That will make things much better for your body. And if you like this, please take a look at my savory playlist and foods in Korea playlist. And let me know which one you like the most. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.